What's going on, card collectors? It's Ken with Ken's Cardboard, and it's the weekend. Time for another video. So I usually put up my videos on the weekend, and uh, today was a great day uh, for the Avalanche. They clinched the playoffs in hockey um, for I don't know how many years in a row they've done it now, but I think they have a good chance at making it to the Stanley Cup this year, so that's pretty cool. And the Rockies are winning their first game so far this season. They have lost both the first couple games uh, to the Diamondbacks, but <laughs> not counting them out to lose it yet. So, um, so cool. Um, I picked up some cards in the mail, and I also went to a card show today. And I, um, they. The card show, Denver card shows, they usually have a bigger show down uh, near the airport at a hotel there at the uh, Crown Plaza Hotel. And uh, this time they did a little, call it a pop-up show. They usually charge money like 10 or $15 to get into that show. Um, this was a pop-up show they did at North Glen, which is a city nearby. And uh, that was at the Delta Hotel. And it was only a one day show, but uh, didn't charge to get in as long as you had the uh, email from them. So that was pretty cool. So I went down there, picked up a few Avalanche cards. Didn't see much um, vintage or a baseball. Didn't, didn't see even much baseball at all. It was mostly basketball and uh, football and a lot of Pokemon. So Pokemon, I know that uh, people love that stuff, but I don't play it and I've never been into it. So don't know anything about it. So um, let's turn it around and show some cards that I've gotten in the mail recently and um, then I got something special for everybody at the end here so alrighty then now that we have the camera turned around let's look at some cards got one of my favorite players there in the background and we'll talk a little bit about that in a minute um, today at the card show like I said there was a lot of Pokemon a lot of modern football and basketball which don't really interest me but there was a few good hockey tables um, uh, three dealers that I like that were selling hockey cards and there's one dealer that sells vintage hockey I looked through his cards but they're a little higher priced from what you could like I can get off of eBay so um, anyways let's get into the cards here so um, I picked up a stack of Nathan McKinnon cards I got this uh, 23 24 upper deck canvas by the way McKinnon had a four point day today two goals and two assists I love the canvas this is also from 23 24 special edition upper deck it's not numbered, but just a foil card. Love that. Rainbow. People like rainbows. Picked up this 2122 metal planet gold. Uh, look at that foil in the back of that. It's a beautiful card. And die cut. Here's the back of that. This is a 2122 Spectrum FX SP Authentic. I got a rainbow wave in the background of these. This looks way better with the light than uh, when you see it at the card show. And this is one of those uh, scratch off one bounty cards. Then we got a 2122 Black Diamond. These are not foil, these are not rainbow foil, but they got that dufex effect of the black diamond. Love that. Highlights the player. This is also 2324. This is the Star Zone foil card. I like multiple image cards. You got the large one in the back and with on the road jersey. I mean the home jersey, and you got the white jersey road. Nice looking card. Star Zone. I would say he's a star. Also picked up uh, a Miko from Metal Universe. This is a parallel. I think it was in the blasters, like the blue parallel. 
and probably some other color they call it. Usually uh, Upper Deck puts the names on the back. Um, also picked up a couple of Kill Macars. This is the 2324 PCs with another rainbow foil background. Series two. And then this is a 20, 2021 second year card of Kale McCarr Red Rainbow. I got all these for less than a buck, so I don't know why this one's such a good deal, but not numbered, but um, love the shine on that. And in the mail, I picked up, I uh, got this really, it came uh let me just show you here. This is the Upper Deck Canvas from 2122, I believe. Yeah, 2122 Upper Deck Hockey. This is the um, outdoor series that the Avalanche played in 2020. This was played in Lake Tahoe. Um, the ice was horrible because it was sunny out that day. They had to postpone the game until it got to uh, <laughs> dark. So or dusk, so they can just use the lights and uh, play in the dark. When they started playing, when they it was the temperature were fine, but then it got too hot and they had to kind of pause the game. I think the Avalanche ended up losing the game, but this is a, looks like it's a goal by Miko Rant Rantanen past uh, Andre Fleury here, the uh, Blackhawks. Yeah, puck right in the crease going into the goal. You can see the pine trees in the background from Lake Tahoe. I thought this was an awesome card of Miko. And the seller also sent me this cool Quebec Nordiques Joe Sackick from ProSet. I don't even know what year this is. 1991, maybe? Or 92, 91 or 92, somewhere around there. Didn't have that one either. Also picked up a couple more cards here. The first one was this uh, 2324 Kale McCarr canvas such a kid still he's already had an amazing career this is i like to have different pictures in the back too very cool and then here's the big bad boy that i pick been waiting for for i don't know three or four months to been watching this and the 2019 sp authentic kale mccarr Retro Future Watch Auto. This is, a, this is a rookie Future Watch. The Future Watch cards, I'll show a picture of his regular Future Watch. I don't, I'm not really a fan of the design of the regular Future Watch, but um, the retro one from 2009 design, way cooler. Like, you know, you got the, the red here, nice spot for the autograph. And this, and those, the uh, regular Future Watch is numbered at a 999, and these are numbered at a 399 and the PSA nines, I think of the his regular one are going for like a thousand dollars. And this felt seller had this uh, listed for, I think $650 on eBay. I contacted him. I made him an offer for $400 and um, he said he couldn't do that. But then I connected, I connected with him offline um, and um, was able to, work a deal for with him and um, got this for $475, no tax. So was very pleased to pick up this car. Um, you know, I don't mind talking about the prices because you can just go on eBay and see what these cards are worth. So it's no big deal to me. You know, you gotta save your money if you want some big cards these days. Um, the back's nothing special on that, but Congratulations, you've received a trading card autographed by Kale McCarr in the presence of a representative. Got the official language on the back, but really happy to have this Kale McCarr in my collection. He had a goal and two assists today. Super stellar. Then I got my got Kale in the background here also. So what I mentioned earlier, something special. Um, I just wanted to do a giveaway to... Um, Anyone who subscribes to my channel, watches my channel, comments on my ch channel, 
Um, and you have to, all you have to do is, um, is like and subscribe to my, to my channel. And um, what I'm gonna have you do is make a video. Uh, you have to make a video and it needs to be a video of a rainbow in your collection. So I like rainbows. Um, I was inspired by, by my buddy Saul who just showed up a, a chrome, chrome black rainbow of Manny Machado. And um, I thought, you inspire me, and since it's the beginning of the baseball season, even though I'm showing hockey cards, getting ready for the playoffs, so um, I thought I'd show um, one a couple of my rainbows here. Uh, first, I'm showing um, the Kilma car here. Um, before I get into that, though, I wanted to tell you what the prizes were, and they got the option of this 21-22 retail box of Series 2 hockey, or these two blaster boxes here of tops series one 2022 and series two 2021 so the winner either of the contest is either going to get the choice of this or the hockey box whatever you prefer so let's check out the other rainbow that i wanted to show you i can just leave these in the background here because it'd be easier to show my next set here. So one of my other favorite players is uh, Mr. Charlie Blackman. And I have 20, no, nine, 36 different parallels of this card here. This is the 2021 tops. And they got some, you know, base designs and you got the chrome cards in this with the same picture so um, i've mentioned before but i have the original photo that was taken for this picture from the photographer who actually lives in denver he makes a lot of takes a lot of photos and and sends them to tops and he char doesn't charge very much money so tops chooses a lot of his photos i think he has over 300 and something photos um and i'll put uh, his name here in the uh, his Instagram channel in the uh, down below here, um, but let's go through these Charlie Blackman cards here. We got the the regular foil, got the gold foil. Those are not numbered, and then you got this. Um, uh, I forget what it's called, but it comes out of the um, um, the sets. The what do you call it? the complete sets? But these are numbered to four to seven ninety. Um, I forget that some type of foil. There you got. Then we have the. Uh, Tops, not heritage, but the um, throwback logo there. And then you got, uh, this is this the base card. And we got the, oh wait, no, that's not the base card. I think that is the, yeah, that's the um, alternate stat, advanced stats record out of 300. Then you have the lenticular, which they don't make anymore, I don't think. And here's the base card. There's a yellow, I think this is a Walgreens. This is the Japanese with the um, cherry blossom, like that one. I don't have every parallel out there. Um, we have the prism, we have the X-Fractor, and then oh, I have another prism here. I didn't realize I had two prisms. I'll probably just fill in a spot in my binder here. Um, then we got the reverse negative, you got the refractor, you got the sepia, and then you got the magenta, which is numbered to 399, I believe. Yeah, 399. And then you have the pink, which is not numbered. And then you got the pink mini diamond. So that's my second page. And then you got the white mini diamond. I think that came out of like a series two box or something. Can't remember. Then you got the gold foil, green foil, I mean, excuse me. And then you got the green refractor and the green wave those are all numbered up this one's 499 and the other two are 99 and then we got the gold base and then we got the gold refractor and the gold wave refractor those are both out of 50. this one's out of 2021 obviously then we got some Purples. This is the purple from Myers, I believe. Then we got the purple refractor, which is numbered to 
Aqua Refractor, which is also number to oh, 199. They didn't make any other parallels of that Aqua one. And then you got the blue, I think it's 199, no 150. Then you got the blue wave, which is numbered out of 75. And you got the sapphire, which is not numbered. Then you got this orange base. That one's numbered out of 299. Orange refractor. And then the sapphire orange, which is numbered out of 25. Whoops. Knocked the camera over. And then I got two more cards to show from that. Of my parallel here, this rainbow. Um, first up is this purple sapphire. Love the shine on this card. I love this. Are amazing. Um, these are numbered out of ten. Number nine out of ten. So very cool on that one. Um, and then you got the red refractor. This is numbered out of five. A little off center north to south but uh, this is one of my few cards i have out of five of charlie blackman this is a five of five um still happy to have that card in my collection so i'm gonna have this contest uh end on april 30th at midnight mountain time and like i said show me your favorite rainbow it can be any sport hockey football basketball baseball soccer whatever you want to show uh nascar any rainbow um and then i'm just gonna do a random drawing probably like a wheel thing or take your name out of a hat uh, make sure you comment um pound hashtag uh, <laughs> hashtag rainbow and also tag me in the video as uh at ken's cardboard and we can get this figured out so it's a little bit longer one, but I uh, just want to say thank you to everybody. Appreciate uh, everybody watching my channel and um, just being a great participant in the community. Oh, one other thing, you also have to shout out two channels that are less than 400 subscribers. So let's try to get them to 500. So yes, shout out to channels that are uh, less than 400 subscribers and I'll put all these back down down in the notes so thanks for watching everybody hope you have a great uh, rest of the weekend and peace don't overthink it <laughs>